Alright, hello everybody, welcome back for some more Pokemon Heart Gold! In the last part, we took on the Sprout Tower, and in this part, we're gonna take on the Violet City Gym. Let's go inside and go ahead and do this. Yo, champ in the making, I'm no trainer, but I can give you some advice. Believe me. If you believe, then a championship dream can come true. Believe, then listen. Grass type is weak against flying type, keep this in mind. Thanks, I totally didn't know that. Alright, so, as you can see right here, there are trainers leading up to Faulkner, and, uh, more often than not, they're kind of just to get in the way, but I do like actually battling them, so, let's actually give it a shot. You can actually skip them sometimes if you pay attention to routes around the gym. So it feels like to be a put bird, but, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I don't get how we're this high if the gym's kind of, like, small. Oh yeah, but love looks awesome with this fiery looking mohawk. Wow, can't believe I actually lived. Lucky bastard. Alright. More often than not, these battles are just to get you some extra additional XP before you face the gym leader. More often than not, I will be taking them too. Be taking some of that XP to fight the gym leader because leveling in this game gets to be really important, and later in the game it's harder to level. Okay, whatever. I don't care. I don't care. It's a calamity on to do some damage. Yeah, sucker. Sweet. Level 12. Alright. So, each gym basically has a different type, meaning that usually the trainers and leader will revolve around one type of Pokemon. In this type, it's flying. So keep that in mind if you're challenging specific gyms, because sometimes you might need the right Pokemon, and some other times... It'd be a lot harder to go through some gyms. Alright, so now we're up to Faulkner. I like the view of this background over here. So cool. Anyways. I am Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can flip, or clip, flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow, <laughs> I won't allow such insults to birds. To the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. And we have our first gym leader, Faulkner. Alright, so he starts off with a level 9 Pidgey. Easy to follow, just Thunderbolt. This battle is really no big deal if you have Mary. Just Thunderbolt everything. Already sending out a second Pokemon. Level 13 Pidgeotto. Wind is finally with us. Now, a little thing to know about Pidgeotto if you're having a hard time with it, it does have Roost, which can be a pain in the ass. Because it can basically Roost, what Roost does is it heals po uh, half the Pokemon's HP. Oh my god, this is ridiculously easy. And it just paralyzed itself. Wow, I didn't get to use Roost. I'm surprised. Oh yeah, give me all that XP. So tasty. Player defeated Le <laughs> Wow, that was just super easy. For pity's sake, my dad's chair is bird Pokemon. But alright. But I defeat is a defeat alright. Take this official Pokemon League badge. This is the Sephir badge. Cisco received the Sephir badge from Faulkner! That badge Pokemon including a traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the move, the hidden move, Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Up 
obtain the TM-51! Using that, a Pokemon will instantly learn to move. Think before you act. Team can only use one. That's the move I was talking about. Contains roost. It restores half the Pokemon's max HP. There are gyms in the city's town ahead. Make good use of them. As for your next move, I was just to ask Lady at whatever town. Alright, so let us head there. The night is still young. That was a really easy gym. Huh. Cisco, we've discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say, but we want you to carry that egg. This isn't as the Pokemon Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Oh, uh ho ho! An egg, you sure, eh? Hmm, let's go. Let's see, where's the. Ah, oh, that's right. <laughs> it was right to the right of the gym. Left of the gym. Now, oh, so there's two people here to see us. Good evening, see. So, isn't it? I have a pex from, you, from your mom. Here you go. Super potion. Sweet. Your next year visit. Long time no see, Cisco. I've been waiting for you. This is a package from Pres Professor Elm. Thing is, we'd like you to have to take care of this egg. Sure, I'll take care of this egg. The egg from the assistant. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they're talking about. But after a while, po Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more suited than Cisco. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here to deliver the egg to you. It seems that a Pokemon will hatch if from it only when you keep it in your party. Of a Pokemon. That's another reason we've chosen you, Cisco. Please take care of it. Okay, sure. No spoilers or any oh. oh me oh my. That egg must be. I see. So it was handed down from Pre Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Is that understood? I'm counting on you. Hmm. Strange people, but alright. Alright, but no spoilers or anything, but this egg is going to be a part of our party. Hmm. And you can see the egg watch. It says on the left. It appears to be moving occasionally. It may be close to hatching. That's how you can tell when your egg's close to hatching or not, obviously, as you can see right there. But, I'm not going to spoil it, but there's a Pokemon that's going to be in our party from that egg. It's always the same Pokemon, I believe, in HeartGold and SoulSilver. If I'm not mistaken. If not, regardless, it's going to be in our party. Regardless! Alright, so let's continue on to... Bleb Bleb Town. I can't remember the name already. Hmm. Actually, I think there's something we want. Okay, so. Something we want to pick up over here. Talk to one of the NPCs here. Okay. Author. Ah, oh, it is Thursday. Okay, sir. You had trouble with the boulder blocking your way. Alright, HMO6. Hmm. That's almost at the one I'm like. Contains make a faint rock smash. You can even use boulders. You can use to smash boulders once you've earned the Violet City Gym Badge. But beware, hidden moves like this are hand for your Pokemon to forget once they are hard for your Pokemon to forget once they've learned. Think carefully which Pokemon should learn it. Alright. And that's how we get Rock Smash. Hmm. I think I'm going to call it an episode right now. We've beaten the gym leader, we've gotten an egg, we've gotten HMO6, Rock Smash, and we... I think that's about it. I think we're just going to call it an episode with this. So, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. We go to Aslat Town. I can't pronounce the name. Whatever. See you all next time.